What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy intuitive reader and I'm here to do the popcorn reading for somebody. So let's see who's going to get this reading. I also do post on my Instagram and Snapchat and I do do personal readings. That information is in the description box. Taurus, what's up Taurus? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Taurus as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right, Taurus. So this is a new segment I'm doing on my channel. I got this new deck. It's called Tea Leaf. And um, yeah, so I'm going to call this popcorn, obviously. And basically, I'm going to pull three cards, three sets of three to see what's going on. Then we're going to clarify with the tarot. These are like really fun because they say different things on them and they're circle. <laughs> they're circular. It's so cool. Anyway, like this video if you guys want me to keep these up, this segment, okay? All right, look at those. Wee, wee, wee. It's like, I just love this deck. Okay. Taurus, what's going on? So just random messages, whatever you guys need to know right now. Taurus, <clears throat> you have wreath, so sorrow over loss, handshake, meeting, with a stranger could be important and cane. Pay attention to your health here. Bottom of the deck is tower, solid foundation, success with effort. So I feel like um there's there will there's a loss here that you will be or are experiencing. And I feel like this loss is really um changing things. Like it's like drastically changing your whole life around. I don't know what kind of loss this is. It's gonna be different for all of you. Um it's going to be crazy because it's like you're going to be feeling a loss, but then it's like you're going to hear good news. And like it's going to take you off guard because you're going to be in such a in such an energy of disappointment, sorrow here. Um, but with the handshake, I feel like you're going to meet someone. There's something you're there's someone here that you're going to meet. I also feel like so because of this loss that you guys are feeling, you guys might not be taking so much care of your physical health, physical, mental, emotional. So make sure you do look into that. But let me see. What is this wreath, handshake, and cane? Oh, you got two cards. Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this is... <laughs> okay, there's somebody here. It could be your fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. There's somebody here who is upset. Um... There's someone here who's upset. And I feel like they're upset because with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it's like they, their finances could not be doing so well or they're having um, money issues. Okay? The High Priestess of reverse, the Hangman in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like whatever this is, um, it's I'm getting like it's ran its course. Not that it's ran its course, but I feel like it's definitely something that... I'm, I don't, I'm not getting the world, but it's like something that's closed out already. Um, I think some of you guys want this back or you're thinking about this or something like that. I don't know. Some of you guys already dropped this person. Oh, this person is manifesting you back. Yeah, but this person isn't, isn't listening to their intuition and I feel like they have to change their perspective on something. Um, but yeah, that's what I feel. Okay. Oh. All right. <clears throat> I also feel like um, oh, that's it. All right, Taurus. Okay, you have rat. Someone working against you. Behind your back, broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem, and fair woman. Sex does not matter. Dealings with. Or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. This could be somebody who is fair skinned, light, lighter than you, okay? Um, that's kind of what I'm getting. The hair, it doesn't really, it could be blonde, but I'm not really getting that. Um, someone who's just lighter than you here. Bottom of the deck is apple. Temptation will test you. I feel like this person, um... Mm. And then you have heart, love, deep affection, fly, a period of ill health and depression. There's somebody here who um, might be sent to you to, to see if you bite the apple here. This person's going to pull on your heartstrings with the heart card here. But anyway, let's see. So 
there's someone in your space. Could be a this could be a light skinned person, someone who is um, lighter on the on the light side that you can't trust here at all. I feel like I feel like the bridge had been broken with this person already. So um, I don't know why this person is coming back here. Hmm. What is this rap broken bridge and fair woman here for Taurus? Seven of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're not you're not fighting this. I feel like this energy might, yeah, the Nine of Wands is in reverse. This energy is very in and out of your life, the King of Swords. You definitely cut this energy back. I mean, cut this energy off here. You definitely released because you found out some things about this person. So why are you guys mentioning this then to what's going on? Why are you guys mentioning this? They want you to let this person go. I feel like you guys are somewhat speaking to this person you could be spying on this person you could be like speaking or not speaking a little bit i feel like you know exactly who this is the universe wants you to close that cycle off already just close it off because i feel like some of the stress some of the anxiety that you feel could be coming from this energy and it's like unnecessary because the bridge has already been broken bye felicia you know what i'm saying with whoever that is <clears throat> all right next is sunrise new creative ideas new ventures a fresh start oh broom new home new attitude okay i like this this is beautiful november something about november and bouquet november could be aquarius whoa could be about an aquarius i don't know why i said aquarius um sagittarius or scorpio and then you have bouquet compliments from an admirer bottom of the deck is fan romance celebration and party all right Taurus, this is very much self-explanatory. <clears throat> I feel like there's going to be a new um a new start, okay, with someone in love. This is this is what I'm getting. Um I feel like this person has been an admirer. Like I feel like this person has wanted you for a while. Um <clears throat> I also feel this energy is going to come in once you guys move into a new home or have a new attitude towards life. I also feel like some of you guys um, will be moving in November or buying a home in November. I also feel like this is going to, this romance, whatever this is, is going to um, really kick off, really like become more serious in November or, or when there's snow on the ground. I don't know. All right, spirit. Where's the sunrise, broom, November, and bouquet for Taurus here? Six of Pentacles. Wow. What else? The Emperor in reverse. Release control. Release control, Taurus, Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you need to. It's not, it's not an illusion. <laughs> I feel like what's coming to you, because you got so much good. It's like it's gonna be new, it's a fresh new start. It's gonna be like someone's gonna be like giving you your flowers. Someone's going to be treating you exactly how you feel like you should be treated. And <clears throat> it might come off guard because you're just like, is this really true? The seven of cups in the verse? Yeah, this is really what it is. I feel like you're gonna be a little closed off to this here, but it's just because you're not sure. Um and it's like some of you guys feel there could be competition elsewhere, but I feel like you need to calm your mind down in order to go towards this new beginning. I feel like you need to release control. You want this to go a certain way, and that is where you're going to kind of hit um, a, a rock wall. Allow this new beginning with a friendship or romantic. I'm getting more romantic. Just allow that. Go with the flow with this. This energy here, Taurus, try something new, right? Even if you're scared. Do something and do it. Try this energy in a way that you've not, never tried. It's 2023, okay? Let's try new things so that we can call in new things. Let's do things differently so we can ex so we can um, get different outcomes from it, okay? Because this is really good. <laughs> this is like somebody giving you your flowers and you're not believing it because you spent so much so much time with other energies that didn't give you your flowers. And now here comes an energy that is willing and showing you, yeah, Taurus, you are that. You are all that in a bag of chips. So embrace this. This is really good. You will get exactly what you put into this energy. You won't get cheapskated. Or that's even a word. I don't even know. All right. <clears throat> so that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this. And stay positive.